the truth is we all come from the same source. And the truth is, is that coming from the same source, uh, spirit, God, whatever name you want to give it, uh, expresses itself uniquely in each and every individual. There's only one, and we all come from it. And if we could just get back to that, we would begin to disappear, and the wars would begin to disappear, the suicides, the racism, all of it would begin to disappear because we'd go back to our original true self, which is in here, which is love. That's what we're all attracted to anyway. So I think that's where we need to begin. Go back to the beginning, deep within yourself. I never thought that going to Barrel would be so life-changing for me. The whole trip was all about going there initially to do workshops, and it became much bigger than that. I think what you're doing is great. That's the first step. Yeah, that's what these youth, I think, needs is someone to talk with, someone to encourage them, someone to let them know that they're there. I think if you find that one person that you can trust, you know, when my son was younger, he, he'd scratch his knee and I could kiss it, you know, and put a Superman Band-Aid on it, but whatever was bothering him that he couldn't share with me, I wish there was someone else that he would have been able to talk to because he killed himself. Um, December 14th, 1997, that was um, two days before my husband of 25 years died of cancer. Losing a husband and son um, so close together hurt, but the one thing that I had to turn around was um, to say that I need to do something different in my life. I got to stop um, feeling sorry for myself because there's people um, that have gone through worse things than I have and to let them know that they're not alone because um, people don't stay away from you because um, of the suicide, that stigma that's attached to suicide, they stay away from you because they don't know what to say. My thing is, if we can get in there and, you know, make a difference in one child's life or deter them from a life of crime or help them heal from some of the abuse they've been through, then I feel that that's reward for us. You guys are doing a great job, like, even though that you guys aren't here from here, like I feel a lot of warm feelings around you guys that you guys are wanting to help us. And awesome. All right. They were warm, they were giving, they had so much spirit and hospitality is probably one of the words that just really jump out to me. They were so gracious. Do you have any advice for us? You know? Just be yourself. Spread what you're spreading, and that's good. Get children, young people involved in feeling good about themselves, and just have fun. Thanks. We are all connected, and we are blending, and um, and this is something we can embrace in a, in a very positive light. It is when we do not speak about these things that people don't learn and don't understand. So I think what you're doing is great. And what I really love is that you're asking the people to talk to you. You're not going in there trying to lord something on them, but to get them to speak to you so that you can have an even bigger and greater understanding. And then putting it in a documentary form so that you can spread it to other places. So once again, you're helping for the cultures to then cross and getting understanding about each other. So we can, and what you'll find is as you go throughout, it doesn't really matter what cultures, there's a similarity between them all. Why? Because we're still all one. And so we can learn from each other if someone's willing to listen, someone's willing to ask the questions. That's what you're doing.